Hello, every Bogo. My name is Austin Bogo. See what I did there? <laughs> I don't know if you'll like that. Um, it may sound kind of corny, or cheesy, or just plain stupid. If, if you do like it, though, saying every Bogo instead of everybody, then let me know down in the comments and like this video. So today, I'm going to be talking about the top 21 feature requests for Farming Simulator 21. Now, this is my personal list and my opinion, and that doesn't mean that it'll actually be added into the game. Also, this list is not in a specific order. Basically, what I did is I have it on a Google Sheet, a Google Sheet doc thing, and, th and I basically just put down a list uh, in the order that it came to my head. So it doesn't rank them from best to worst or anything like that. And the footage that you are seeing is footage of Farming Simulator 19, which is the current version of the game for PC and console. And it's not Farming Simulator 21. They haven't actually released it yet. With that being said, let's get into- Ow. Just, oh my gosh, I just like waxed my cord. <laughs> With that being said, let's get into the video. I'm too excited for this. Coming up at number one, being able to strap down vehicles. Something that I thought would be in FS19 never got added. I just, I can't tell you how many times I've wanted to strap down vehicles and they just, they end up in the bar ditch, which is super duper annoying. I wish they would add that. that if, the, if this was a ranked list, this would for sure be my top number one priority. If I was de developing Farming Simulator 21, that would be what I would be developing, like basically the first thing. Number two here is going to be tarping loads. This this includes bales, pallets, IV tanks, and of course vehicles. <laughs> and anything, I don't know what they're going to be adding in Farming Simulator 21, so anything else that is that basically you pick up and put it on a trailer or drive up onto a trailer. This kind of goes along with strapping down vehicles, and I just think it'd be a great addition to the game. Even though it already is, you know, pretty <laughs> pretty great. Speaking of how much I've played it. Number three kind of goes along with number two. That is bales decreasing their capacity in the rain and snow. If you tarp your bales though, or put them in a shed, this decrease in the amount of bale won't happen. The, this bale depletion is already in Seasons, if you're familiar with that mod in FS19. Four would definitely be more variety in plants. I know Giants is try try really hard to make their plants already in the game the best they can be, but honestly I think what they need more of is just something like carrots or cabbage or something along those lines. I know there was a mod that was pretty popular in FS17 that was grapes. That would that would be amazing if they added something like that. Going along the, with the variety subject, more houses and sheds would greatly improve the game. <laughs> I hope that makes number five happy. That number five splot, be happy. Six might be for the more realistic playing players, which includes me. It'd be kind of nice to have a flat tire, I think, just to add a little bit more realism. Six and seven kind of go together. It's more realistic is why I'm putting them more together. Differential lock and four wheel drive is what I would like to see in the base game. They do make mods that allow differential lock and four wheel drive. I think giants would do a better job of implementing them in. Moving on to number eight. Multiplayer is amazing right now. I feel like it, <laughs> it could be better. Adding an in-game microphone would be amazing. I personally don't play that much multiplayer, but I've played other multiply uh, multiplayer games such as Fortnite, and a mic just makes it so much better. Unless you have an angry 12 year old yelling at you about how much his mom won't let him get Platinum Edition. One of my favorite buttons is the mute button in those situations. Number nine is very controversial, which is animations to get into vehicles. I propose a fix, having an option to turn it on or off. Simple, fix, thank me later. Have you ever gotten into a vehicle and realized that your character is too high or too low? Me too, I've been in those situations. Call 877-458-7235. I've got the number plugged in. Tick. Call? I don't know what that means. Does that mean that it's not a number? Pretty sure that means it's not a number. It's not a real phone number, don't call it. But I was just kind of doing a commercial thing. Subscribe. Number 11 fixes that by adding a feature to move your character in the cab view. 
up, down, left, or right. Hills and Farming Simulator. Everybody loves them. <laughs> the camera just stinks on hills at its current standpoint, okay? I think it just should just rotate with the tractor as it drives along the hill. I think that this should be in both the end cab view and also the third person view. Another one for the more realistic players, 13 is going to be paint wear. I think just like real life, paint should wear off more when you don't park your vehicles in a shed or barn. Following up paint wear, engine wear and tear. Again, another one for the realistic players. Just like real life, the engine should deteriorate if you leave your vehicle sitting too long. I'm sorry, I just like my realistic farming simulator. Popping in at the number 15 spot is going to be oil changes. Keeping your engine running good is a big part of real life farmers jobs, so I think it should be in farming simulator too. 16 is going to be tire slip. Again, more realistic. That's just who I am. I'm sorry. Hit subscribe because it helps me. Farming Simulator has all these types of tires and wheels you can put on your tractor. Farming Simulator and Giants, they've already done a great job on the models of the wheels. They look mwah, fantastic. Now we just need a reason to actually get those tracked wheels instead of those narrow doubles. If you've ever mowed a field of grass, you will know that what this 17th feature request will be. I feel like you need to be able to pick up both mowers at the same time. It's so frustrating having to hit V on the back motor, hit G a few times, have to cycle back through all your implements, finally hit V and pick up your front motor and turn around to the next pass to the, the exact same thing. I don't even have to talk about 18. Ah, it hurts. No, don't let it. Ah, we're in. Now, moving on to number 19 is going to be a search bar for the end game mod hub. Now, if you go online, you can search up mod hub for farming simulator and I feel like, I mean, they already know how to do it on the, on the online one. So they should just like copy paste, boom, done. Getting close to the end, number 20 is going to be mud. I'm being serious when I say that everyone loves mud from its nice brown color to the challenge it brings and that sudden surge of adrenaline your tractor desperately drives through it barely making it to the other side finally last one <laughs> you're probably getting tired of my voice by now the 21st feature request for the farming simulator 21 in the 21st century is that enough 21s <laughs> of course it's going to be more john deere equipment hopefully you can tell by now that i am a huge john deere lover well that's gonna wrap up this video hopefully you enjoyed if so let me know by leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't already and that would be greatly 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 appreciated tell me in the comments which request was your favorite but anyway guys thank you so much for watching it really means the world to me when other people look at my work and say hey that dude's doing pretty good right there but anyway guys i'll see you in the next one peace